All right, so today we're gonna be forging a flint striker from some leaf spring.
so I got the ends in the forge and uh, we're gonna curl them with these kneel on those pliers. So now we're going to work on uh, hardening our striking area on our flint striker. Alright, so we got our flint striker forged out. Uh, we got it quenched. You want to make sure you quench it really good. You will want that uh, striking area to be uh, pretty hard. So. Also, you don't want to like heat treat it or anneal it or anything. You want it to be nice and hard. So, uh, yeah, now we're just gonna clean it up. All right, so I got it roughly cleaned up. Um, one thing I'm noticing though is that when I get my hand in, this is in the way. So I'm thinking um, we'll uh, work on grinding that down a bit as well as cleaning this inside out with a Dremel tool. Alright, so we got the inside cleaned out a little bit, have a little more space for my hand. Um, now we're going to work on cleaning up our striking side. Alright, so here I have a big chunk of flint, a little bit of char paper. You could use a char cloth or a steel wool or anything that will catch a spark real good. And from there you can uh, get a fire started, get a bundle of dry grass or something, and uh, yeah, there you go. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoy this content, consider subscribing. And if you didn't want it to be a flint striker, it could always be a knuckle duster. <laughs>